Hello everyone, we're going to look at how to make a septagon. A septagon has seven sides and they're congruent, which is what we would call regular, meaning all the sides are congruent or equal and all the angles are the same degree. It would be whatever 360 divided by seven is. So when we construct it, it's not very difficult to make. We're going to begin with a circle and you're going to need a straight edge or a ruler along with your compass. And when we're done, we'll take a moment to do it on GeoGebra, the math software. And that'll show us um, how quickly it can be done and how accurately. So we're gonna begin with a circle, as long as it fits on your paper. It'll be the right size. And the first thing we're going to do is we'll connect the radius, or really you could connect the whole diameter. So I put my pencil in the center and I like to put that there first and then line up my ruler so it's more accurate. And so one thing we wanna make sure that we didn't do is we didn't move our compass. So if you did, we simply put our compass back in the center and we readjust to make sure it's the same length. So we're going to put the compass point on the top where the circle meets the line or the diameter and make a marking and go to the other side and repeat. And we're gonna use this marking to make our septagon. So again, we drew our circle, we drew a line through it, we put the compass on top of that line and made an arc, and we did the same thing on the other side, we made an arc. So if we went to that spot and did the same thing, we could make six even marks, that would be our hexagon and our seat of life. But this will actually help us to get to a seven-sided shape. So when I use my ruler to connect the two dots, where the arc meets the circle, I have this perpendicular line. Half of it, if I measure that distance with my compass, this amount that gives me half of the line is going to be the amount that will evenly fit around seven times and make our septagon. So this amount, I'm going to use my compass to measure it. So you line it up. If your compass has a lock, you can lock it. So I'm going to put the point on top That'll be where the top of the star will be. I'll make a big arc so I know that's the one I'm using. I'll go to that spot and make another one. And so each time I do not move the compass, it's always the same amount as my original circle. I go where I left off. I draw another one and it'll go around seven times perfectly. So I have the top one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one here was seven. So if I quickly uh, connect the dots, of course, you wanna be more careful if you're doing the construction. Uh, I'm just doing this for the speed of the video. You connect those spots and you get a seven-sided pentagon, or you can connect the lines and make a seven-sided star. our septagon with seven sides using a compass. So let's take a look at what it would look like in GeoGebra. And uh, if we'd like to, we can connect the dots and make a seven-sided star. Let's take a look at our GeoGebra software. Um, like we did with our compass, we would start with a circle. And we're going to draw the diameter. So I wanna go from the top to the bottom and go through the center. If you really want, you could zoom in to see how accurate you are. Um, then I, what we had done is we had drawn a circle that was going to help us draw the same size. So what we can do is draw a circle at point D that goes to point A. And that would actually give us the um, vesica pieces shape. And we're going to use that. We're going to connect the dots from here to here. And what we had done is we're going to use, let me put a point there, from B to the middle. So from B to F should be the distance all the way around seven times. Let's hide everything else and try that. So we'll start on the top at point C and we'll rotate it. Or not rotate it, we'll draw a line. So we're going to click point C and say, draw me a line that's the same length as BF from that center point here, from B to F. 
and I'm going to rotate it so it touches the corner of the circle. And I'm going to do the same thing seven times around. So when I touch point G, I'm going to put the length of BF here, rearrange it, do the same thing seven times. Where H is, same as BF's length. Where I is, the same length as BF. So BF is going to give us the length that will give us seven spots equally around. So we're copying the line BF and then adjusting it so that it fits on the circle. And that should be it. One more and we're done. So let me hide the perpendicular lines that we drew. And if we really want, we could even hide the circle. And the last thing is if we wanted to make a star out of this, let me hide these two points. If we wanted to make a star out of it, what we could do is we can connect each corner to the four other corners, not to the left and right of it. And when we do that, we get a neat seven-sided star. Am I missing any? One, two, three. Yes, one here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Each of them will have four lines in front of them. So this is a seven sided star, a septagon, on our GeoGebra software. Hopefully, you enjoyed that and the new designs we can make.